rehearsing and delivering your speech is the final step in the speech writing process. What is the mean of rehearsing? Rehearsing means making practice. A well rehearsed and delivered speech will help you to engage your audience, to effectively communicate your message and leaving a lasting impression on your audience. There are certain tips for rehearsing and delivering your speech. First is rehearse, time yourself, use body language, be confident, visualize your success, speak naturally. That the whatever we speak, it should look like naturally. Then we should speak in such a way that we keep our audience engaged. We will discuss each of these tips briefly now. First point is rehearse. Once you have written your speech, rehearse it. That is practice delivering your speech several times so that you can be well conversant with the message as well as its pace of delivery etc. This rehearsal process will help you in the following ways. You will become more familiar with your material. You will become more confident and you can also identify the areas that need improvement. Next point is time yourself. As already told that time is very important in today's world. So, time yourself during your rehearsals to make sure that you are able to finish your speech in your allotted time limit. If necessary, adjustments should be made to ensure that your speech fits within the time frame. Practice speaking at a natural pace. If we speak at a very fast speed, the audience will not be able to understand the same. Next point is, we should use body language to engage our audience and to emphasize our point. We should maintain our eye contact with our audience. We should use gestures and we should vary our tone of voice to keep our audience interested and engaged. Next point is visualize your success. Imagine that you are delivering a very successful speech and there is a positive reaction from the audience. If you visualize your success in such a way, it can help to build your confidence level and it will naturally reduce your stress level. It will reduce your nervousness. Next point is be confident. Be confident and believe in yourself when you are delivering your speech. Take deep breaths, relax and speak clearly and confidently and be sure that you will be in a position to deliver your speech in a very effective and memorable manner. Next is engage with your audience. You should catch the attention of your audience by asking questions. When you are delivering your speech, then the audience may speak boredom. They may not feel interested. Then you can keep them engaged by asking questions from them. You should make eye contact with them. And if there is any question from the audience, you should respond to them or they may be having certain feedback, acknowledge the same. So we should prepare a set of relevant or related questions in advance. You may also conclude your speech with a thought provoking question. Next point is speak naturally and do not try to memorize your speech word for word. This will help you to sound more confident and authentic. Be rehearsing and delivering your speech.
by rehearsing and delivering your speech you will be able to effectively communicate your message and engage your audience now we will conclude this course by saying that speech writing is an important skill that involves creating a message for delivery to a live audience speech writing is a process that involves several steps a well written speech can have a significant impact on the audience and the speaker's reputation with practice and dedication anyone can develop his skills in speech writing and become a more effective communicator thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course